This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WGBW Daily News Roundup for the Talk of Green Bay, 97.9 FM and 1590 AM. For 97.9 WGBW News, I'm Lisa Hale. With the snow we got this morning, I think it's safe to say winter weather has arrived. Are you ready for it? Here's meteorologist Brittany Merlot. This week in Wisconsin is Winter Weather Awareness Week, and it's a good time to make sure you know where all of your gear is. It's also a good time to check on friends and neighbors. Elderly who may not always remember or have adequate uh, resources to be able to dress uh, warmly and to ensure that furnaces are working, remind the kids to dress warmly when outside. That might not be the first thing on their mind. That's Matt Friedline at the National Weather Service. When it's cold, remember it's best to wear several layers of loose-fitting, lightweight clothing instead of one single heavy layer. Because the last thing that you want is to sweat and trigger hypothermia. That sneaks up quickly and you're usually unaware of it happening. So familiarize yourself now with the signs and symptoms of it. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is reminding drivers to move over and slow down when approaching an active roadside emergency. There have been 60 emergency responders hit and injured by vehicles while working on the side of the road in Wisconsin over the last five years. Department of Transportation officials are also reminding residents that moving over and slowing down for emergency vehicles is required by state law. Governor Tony Evers has proclaimed this week as Crash Responder Safety Week. He's already been sworn in, but today elections officials will certify that Tony Weed won the special election for the 8th Congressional District. Canvassing is officially finished for Congressional District 8. That's where clerks go through and verify that their election results are accurate. Now those results head to the Wisconsin Elections Commission. They hold a meeting today to certify. That's the final step in the special election process to fill the vacancy left when former Congressman Mike Gallagher resigned his position in April. Weed also won the election for the full term, which starts in January. All of Wisconsin is remembering a Christmas parade attack today. Stuart J. Waddles has more. On the third anniversary of the Waukesha Christmas parade attack, flags across Wisconsin will fly at half staff. The observance today honors the six people who lost their lives when Daryl Brooks Jr. drove through the parade in 2021. There's a dedication ceremony for a new parade memorial in Waukesha's Greedy Park. It features a symbolic six-sided heart sculpture. Governor Evers, in the flag-lowering order, praised the community's strength. U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin announced Monday that Wisconsin will receive over $101 million to help families lower their home energy costs ahead of the winter season. The funding comes from legislation like the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. The Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program helps households with their home energy bills by providing payment and energy crisis assistance to pay for gas, electric, and other methods customers use to heat their homes. Funding can also be used to weatherize homes to make them more energy efficient. Efficient. Individuals interested in applying for the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program can visit energyhelp.us. Ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday, Amcor and Kraft Heinz are donating over 78,000 boxes of Kraft Mac and Cheese to America's food pantries. 49,000 boxes will be distributed in the Fox Valley alone. Ryan Rasmussen of the Oshkosh Area Food Pantry. This is an incredible, incredible donation. We hope that this donation will last through the entire holiday season because who doesn't love mac and cheese for Thanksgiving? I know I do. The 28 pallets of food will be divided between the OACP and St. Joseph's Food Pantry in Menasha. Manitowoc police need help finding a veteran at risk after his vehicle was found in Lake Michigan near the village of Cleveland. 43-year-old Jason Newman was reported missing Tuesday. Authorities checked his residence, but he was not there. Newman is 5 foot 8 inches tall, weighs 220 pounds, has blondish hair, blue eyes, and an Army airborne symbol tattooed on an upper arm. It's believed he went missing on Monday, November 18th. 
Today will be the last day anyone can park in the Adams Street parking lot at the corner of Washington and Cherry Streets in downtown Green Bay. The parking lot, along with the Packers Heritage Trail Plaza, have to be removed to make way for an eight-story, 268-unit luxury apartment complex. The Public Works Department will be removing all pay stations, lights, and hardware from the Adams Street parking lot tomorrow. I'm Lisa Hale, 97.9 WGBW News. For news anytime, log on to WGBW.FM. The Bucks get another win. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Bucks beat the Bulls 122 to 106. Milwaukee is now on four of their last five games. Doc Rivers says they're playing better defense. We've had the ability to get timely stops and good stops, like, uh, and, and we got to keep doing that. We just got to play defense with a sense of urgency for 48 minutes. And because our lack of speed, we have to have better focus. And and that's what we're starting to do. High school football state championship games are underway at Camp Randall Stadium in Madison. In Division I, Green Bay's Bayport High School will face off tomorrow against Muskego. NFL, the Packers host the 49ers Sunday, kickoff at 325. The 49ers defense led by veteran linebacker Fred Warner, quarterback Jordan Love. With Fred, it's definitely his uh, athleticism. Um, obviously, I think he, he does a great job at, like you said, dissecting plays, and he he's usually in the right spot. Um, Um, But he's a guy that that flies around the field. Um, He's an aggressive player. He tackles well. Um, So there's just not a lot of things that he doesn't do well. But he's he's really just a, a great athlete out there, and he's all over the place. That's Packers quarterback Jordan Love. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. This weekend kicks off the unofficial holiday box office season, and by all accounts, it will not disappoint. Every so often, two huge blockbusters are released at the same time. That includes this weekend with the release of Wicked and Gladiator 2. Wicked tells the story of the two witches from The Wizard of Oz and is based on the smash Broadway musical. The film stars Ariana Grande and is pulling a 92% fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 99% from audiences. Gladiator 2 is Ridley Scott's follow-up to the 2000 film starring Russell Crowe. The film stars Paul Mann- Pascal, Pedro Pascal, Connie Nielsen, and Denzel Washington, whose performance is getting rave reviews from critics. The film is drawing a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes, just a few points lower than its predecessor, but with no audience scores available yet. If you can wait just a few days, you can take the kids to see Moana 2. The follow-up to the wildly successful 2016 film opens the day before Thanksgiving and is also reviewing incredibly well at 95%. Let's go to the movies. Denzel Washington told Esquire magazine recently he was bitter when he did not win the Oscar for Best Actor for The Hurricane in 2000. The Oscar went to Kevin Spacey for his performance in American Beauty. Washington said at that point he stopped caring and started having his wife cast his vote for the Academy. Washington won his first Best Actor Oscar two years later for Training Day. Washington has four more nominations since then, and there's a buzz he'll be nominated in the Best Supporting category for Gladiator 2. Elizabeth Olsen is returning to the MCU. Olsen, whose character is Scarlet Witch, will play a derivation of the role in the upcoming series Marvel Zombies. Good God, seriously? Marvel Zombies will actually be a spinoff of the Disney series What If, in which Olsen voiced Scarlet Witch before transforming into zombie Scarlet Witch. If you're looking for an excuse not to watch, you've got time. Marvel Zombies drops in October 2025. Variety reports Anne Hathaway has signed on to the new thriller Verity. The film is based on the Colleen Hoover novel of the same name. Hoover's book It Ends With Us was also adapted for the big screen. Hathaway plays an author injured in a car accident, preventing her from finishing her novel. A ghostwriter is hired and uncovers family secrets. In breaking radiant skin news, Selma Hayek has the secret to ageless skin. You might think it was just because she has gobs of money, but no. Yahoo Entertainment reports that the 58-year-old actress swears by a new product that contains bark from a Mexican tree that regenerates the skin. Even better, thanks to Hayek, you don't have to find the tree and scrape the bark off yourself. Hayek found a way to put the tree bark in cream form, and she's selling it for just 10 bucks. That's a deal. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba. Weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. A little snow right away this morning, then windy with rain today. Our high 41 this afternoon with wind out of the north gusting to between 40 and 50. Tonight, breezy, 38 tomorrow. Not as windy, still cloudy with a high of 47. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 35. That's your WGBW Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WGBW.FM. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. 
Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.